Hello, this is Jilly Bling. Are you ready to make another little 3D project? Are these just the cutest thing? So I went on an incentive trip in May and received this as a 3D swap. It has a little candy bar in it. And I showed all of my stampers, all the different 3Ds, and everyone loved this one. So this one, I'll show you in just a minute. Let me show you all these. So these are the ones that I made. And I was putting little nuggets in them and had them wrapped up with designer paper so they kind of match. And two different types of, this is, um, what do they call this? In color jute trim for this more string type, jute. And then this is textured ribbon and the in colors. And that's for these. And then I was using some little um, elements that I've been collecting. Not that I hoard these things, ha ha ha, for a long time, but they're perfect on here. And then these are just sequins, the silver and shine, what is it called? Subtle shimmer sequins. And I just put all those there and I love that. I think, oop, did I just lose one? I just lost one from right here. Um, I think this one might be my favorite of all of them. It's just, it's so different. But of course, I like me a bit of bling. <clears throat> and that's what, that's what we have going on here. Is the top just has all this bling on it. Okay. So, and you know, honestly, do I really expect that these will last on here forever? Maybe not. And little Velcro, thanks to Jeanette. Jeanette went on Amazon and she got um, sheets of Velcro. And she's like, there's no way I could use all these, but you can. And so I bought a few sheets from her. So that's today's project. But I want to do one. So all of you demonstrators, what's the missing color? This is a sample. What's the missing color? My favorite, boho blue. Let's do one in boho. And I am stamping in jammies, just because when Tony comes home, he's noisy. And let me put all these right here. Cute, cute. Something fancy is for the words. Mostly, I like the happy birthday. Let's use the happy birthday today. Timeless arrangements is for this rectangular die. Sending is for the long die. Make sure you could see those. And all that is for the label for the latch. He's all that, all that. And I want to do happy birthday today. Happy birthday. So I'm going to use mostly current, but the little dragonfly is from, <clears throat> excuse me, last year's catalog. And um, I love that, especially with the blue. And these are loose frosted dots. Those are online exclusive. So here's pieces. And these are gonna be candy wrappers. And they're cut one inch to three inches. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog. And my blog is chillybling.com. I'm thinking about where the paper cutter for scoring is gonna go. Okay, let's just get to it. This is for, I already have the happy birthday done. Okay, I just need that paper. And a trimmer, score a trimmer. I don't know, I have more stuff here. So, these are the directions Jane Stoll provided to make her purse. And then I added the candy wrapper and I added the words paper size. So I'll take a picture of this and put it on my blog. But it says the size is to cut everything, including the ribbon. And then it has a little directions. And we'll follow these directions right now, step by step. But first thing, cut your paper to six by six. And 
Which one should we use? I'm looking at the pattern on them. I already used this pattern. I already used that. Because this is on top, I think I decided on that. Dots are fun. Let's, let's do this one. And in color, six by six paper. These are the um, Velcro dots from Jeanette. And we're only going to use a half a Velcro dot because if you use a full dot, you are just yanking to pull it apart and the paper is like, I'm not that strong. Half a dot is perfect. Okay, so let's follow the template. Score at one and a quarter and four and three quarters. Okay, so one and a quarter. Can you see way up here? You can't see up there. Okay, one and a quarter. And when you're scoring designer paper, don't push too hard, push just medium hard. Just because you might kind of cut through the paper with your scoring. Because it's a little bit thinner paper, I did that. Okay, score at one and a quarter and four and three quarters. Rotate, score at two and a half and three and a half. So rotate, two and a half, and three and a half. Okay, done with the score. So this next part is kind of stuff that I added on for just making it go together easy, but you don't have to do it. Um, so let me show you. First, let's just score or let's fold where um, Jane suggested we score and fold. And if you look at the template, you're like, what are those dark lines? Those are, those are my add-ons. But you don't need the score tool for those. Okay, so here is this. And bottom line is these top pieces get the ribbon smushed in there and then it gets folded upward. So it'll be like this. But these little flaps here, this gets folded, this kind of gets um, folded back. So I'm just gonna do a soft fold right now. Like it goes about like that. Hold this down where the ribbon goes and just do like a soft fold. So see how that's kind of popping up there? That's the plan. So where the, where the ribbon goes, kind of a soft fold. Ribbon goes. Okay, so now we have an idea of how it goes. But I'm gonna confirm these folds by knowing it goes from I want to make sure you can see this from where it's folded down right here in the corner back and I'm looking at this crease goes to this crease and I don't know because the pattern is kind of busy I don't know if you could see that and I don't know that it's really needed to do this part so I did these two black lines this one in the middle is for a little bit of a crease right there. So fold it in half. And not the whole way, just right here on the end. Just a little bit. Let's do the other side. Okay, so that part is done. Now, two more diagonal side. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, coffee fixes everything, especially early in the morning. Okay. And it's 
going to go this way. Soft fold. Now I'm just looking for the creases. Okay, I think we're done. Now we can build it. Let's build it. So, I need glue. Oh, I didn't pick out ribbon. Should I do... I think I'll do the regular ribbon. <gasps> it's brand new. <laughs> I look over at my garbage can and there's a few chocolate wrappers. I guess I had to sample the chocolate just to make sure it was good before I wrapped it up. So right now I'm scoring to 12 inches. And then I'll cut this in half. Because each of the handles, um, each one is six inches. Okay, let's, let's build this. So to build it, right here is where the folds are. You can see the shadows. So I'm going to go in about a quarter of an inch. And it doesn't matter if it's exactly a quarter of an inch, just so that your handles are somewhat symmetrical. So I'll put this one here, let it sit in the glue. Then I'll get a sample and I'm kind of copying how it goes, just like that. Each time I have to copy. Okay, that part is done. Handle. I tried having the handles go the other way and it looks like a, a crafter's tote or it looks more like a tote rather than a purse. And you know, I was thinking these would be really cute in um, Christmas patterns. And I have so much Christmas paper so I might do something Christmassy. Okay, I'm looking at how much is here. That's about a quarter of an inch compared to here. Those are equal. Okay, again, every time I have to look at the sample. Okay, ribbons are on. Okay, so I'm going to Kind of saturate the ribbon with glue. Put glue at the bottom, on the sides, and then glue all over this panel. So, let me hold this up so you can see. I'm going to have glue all over the top, all the way down to this point, and then here's that little angle. I think when I stick it on here, you might be able to see the shape better. Oh, I know, I know how I could show you. This part right here. All that's getting glue. And then the ribbon is right here, so a little bit of glue up here. Okay, gets folded over right there at the angle. Stick. Okay, so let's do this one. And in the end, I'm going to be like working underneath flaps, like right now. But these would be so cute to put a gift card in for Christmas or birthdays or any celebration. And also, they sell really good at craft fairs. Little 3D things like this. You know, you know from what I usually do, this isn't exactly my regular. But if you do craft sales, which quite a few people are, um, they sell good. Thurston Florist. Let's 
see how it would fit. I guess if you extended, expanded the sides. <clears throat> Let me get these out of here. Okay. Well, if you're going to do a gift card, you don't need to do... Oh, those are going to kind of still want to pucker in. See, that works fine. Gift card and chocolates. Well, it's going at an angle. Can you put these like that? Ooh, that's nice. That feels it feels good. Okay, back on task. Glue all over the ribbon, all over this angled. What is this angled piece called? Obviously not a rectangle. Parallelogram is parallel. What is this shape called? Not a triangle. I don't know why I ask myself these questions. Because I don't know the answer. Tell me in the comments, what's this shape? You know, after I finish, I'm going to look it up. Okay, doing good. Since I have the glue out, let's wrap some <clears throat> little candy wrappers. You could just dry. So I'm using the daisy paper for the designer paper. It conveniently matches. Candies. I need only three, so red it will be. These would match good, but I think the red would kind of stand out a little bit. So to do the candy wrappers, it would be easy if I say just wrap it around, but because after I've made four of these, I kind of have a little trick. Fold this part in just a bit, because that's smaller than the bottom of the candy. And you could tell they're different sizes, and that doesn't matter. Okay. And now, <clears throat> this candy, <coughs> excuse me, is going to go into the crack, and I'm going to put glue right on here. But see how it just kind of wedges in there, which is convenient. And then, put glue here. And after you've done one, you're like, okay, now what, what were you saying about that? Let, let me follow, because it just makes it a little bit easier. Wrap it around. Get it so that um, designer paper lines up. Any way you do it is fine, but I found this works a little better. Okay, so hold it, put it in place. So my thumb is holding it and two fingers on the bottom are holding it. <laughs> okay, glue here. And glue here. Wrap it around. Try to get it snug. Get it to line up. And then it dries. One more. This one is going to be perfect, right? I think my um, my fold is a little crooked. Okay, that part is done. So let's do the latch. The flap. So on this one, it's on the back. Oh, I had to do the bands too. I always forget to do that. This one is just folded in half. 
this latch I want it to be a little bit more shallow. So it's big back here and little up there. This one, let's just do it in the middle. What about these others? This is the first one. See, that is just classic. I love this one. And I would say the wild wheat, mm, I don't know, but I'm coming around to it. And the one we're doing, oh, same print, same words. Okay, fold it in half. I wonder if I could do all those little sparkles with the dragonfly. Oh, but I wanted to use these. <gasps> so many choices. This one is bigger here. Not so big, but then I use the larger words. Okay, in half. Just fold it in half. And should we see how this is working? It's a glued well, those bands I keep forgetting right across here. Did I pull those out? I didn't even pull them out. Two boho blank bands and the boho band strip three and a half by half inch. And these, these strips, they kind of um, stabilize the purse, too. And you might have to trim them. Maybe. I'll show you. So put it right across the top. I love boho. Okay. I love most blues. So to trim it, eh, it's a little bit big. So, yeah, I'll trim that. See, this would be cute if it was like a metallic, a foil paper, like gold, or some of those pretty um, silvers. There's like the combo pack. Okay, this one looks good. This one needs just a little trim. I guess I didn't fold it straight. Okay, so this is for the latch. Glue, 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 glue. Latch could go on either side, but in the middle, I'm looking at how much space is from this ribbon to that ribbon. Okay, make sure it folds down. These things tuck in. Okay, so at this point they're going out. This would be good for the... Um, Oh, that's kind of cute for the gift card. You know, I'm just going to leave them out. Who knows? And it's going to be closed. So I need the Velcro. Is this where my little dragonfly is going to go? So if you don't have dragonflies, any little um, elements that you have, not that you hoard them like I do, they're very cute. I kind of like them like, like straight on. Because you know dragonflies go every direction, and I always put them every direction. Hmm. Okay, Velcro. Velcro dots. And here I cut them right in half. The only thing is some of them shift. Because when I look at this, they're not centered. But that's okay. So I'm going to take this whole half Velcro bit. And it's very sticky. And I'll put, and it doesn't matter which half. So that's the side with the, um, that's a soft side. That's a fuzzy side. This side is the kind of hard, I think, with the little loops. Recentering that. Okay, it's in place. Get these lined up. And close the door. 
cute. Imagine this on a tree or giving this to someone or walking in, you're going to lunch with a girlfriend. You walk in and here, happy birthday. Look at that. That right there is just pretty. Let me put these in. Ooh, that makes it even more kind of tidy. I like that. Okay, we just need happy birthday words. I do want to use these, though. So, happy birthday. It's from that stamp set. Something fancy. And this die is from Sending. Okay, so that's going to go right here. Well, this one is kind of clean and classic. Maybe I'm liking it so much because it's blue. I do want to put some of these on. Let me see how it would look on there. I'm thinking I think these are pretty peacock. Maybe I could put it like the, um, I don't know, is it just distracting from the pretty, I, I, I might leave them off. Maybe a tiny one, just a tiny one here and on the other side. Okay, that's it. Let me put the candies in, the chocolates, the chocolate nuggets. Somehow I got truffle nuggets. I don't know if I like those as much, but I'm really like, okay, this is my favorite. Which, which one? Okay, which one of all of these is your favorite? Yeah, I'm liking them all. little splash of red in there. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. <sighs> okay, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe and like button and I appreciate any of the shares too. Bye.